Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bricia. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. And if you're not new, welcome back. Okay, so right now, sorry, like the lighting is like crazy. I tried to find the best lighting, but it was hard here because it was like, I don't know. But I'm doing a photo shoot right now, which I'm really excited about. I feel like I've kind of done a photo shoot like this before. Like I have like the hat and the white fit, but I feel like the outfit I wore last time wasn't as fitted. It wasn't, it was like kind of loose and... I don't know, I just feel like I have a better vision now, better location. Um, we're here at the Wrigley Mansion, which I feel like just fits the vibe really good. Um, the dress is like super tight and sexy, I'll show you guys in a little bit. So I wanted like something very like powerful, classy, um, but still sexy. So I just, yeah, that's, that's what's going on today. And this is what the hat looks like. I think it's so cute. I have I had one like this is this is the same one I wore in the last shoot. I still have it, but I love it. So I'm really excited. I haven't done a photo shoot in a long time, and this is my first time shooting with this photographer. But I've I've seen his work, and I I like it. I like it a lot actually. So I was like, I want to you know bring this vision to life, and like I said, I want to start doing more photo shoots. I love photo shoots because they just like capture like you in that moment like I can look back later in life and be like wow like that's that's what I looked like that was my style or I remember what I was doing around that time or who I was with or you know what I mean like what I had going on so and I think it's like a form of art you know I like I like seeing it and I don't know I just love pictures and I love yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and head out um but yeah, I was like so sad because I literally turned on the camera and it said no card. So I literally, I forgot my memory card. But then luckily I had one in the car. So I was like really excited about that. Okay guys, so we're going to go ahead and head out. Okay, so I'm here at the location. We're about to start the shoot, which I'm really excited. I kind of wanted to show you guys the location so you guys could get like the vibe of what I'm going for. I don't think I said in the car, but like for me, this look was inspired from the Scarface movie, Michelle Pfeiffer. So when she's wearing the hat and like the tight, like the... It's not a tight dress, but she was wearing like some little cute outfit. So that's where this inspo came from. So this is like the Wrigley Mansion. There you go. Right yeah. you this is the photographer, David. Yeah, but yeah, this is the location. The vibes. Two, one, go for it. Don't worry. Just keep it going. Keep it going because we can always add different clips. inside area over there guys I'll show you guys in a little bit but it's so beautiful and I think it's gonna go it's with amazing it. I'm actually excited for the photographs it's like it has like a, kiss. yeah it has like a fire in there and I didn't expect that the fireplace has the atmosphere it's all wood so it's like super warm tones it's just, it's it just amazing. yeah it just makes the look I didn't know like all this was in there so I was like this is a nice little surprise this place is a little surprise yeah. right now though we're, I'm getting like a dirty martini kind of like the vibes of the whole shoot so I'm like I usually don't drink martinis but I think they would look good with like the whole concept you know on the edge there yeah. <laughs> try Go and grab it, go and grab it. All right, ready, here we go. Hold on. You going to take a sip again? Stay there. All right, just go and take a sip again. Look at the vibes, guys. I'm a little buzzed from my <laughs> from my martini. Right? This is like a good like spot for like the aesthetics, the vibes of the shoe. Oh yeah, this is nice. There's so much to work with here. So many rooms that are like yeah. There's 
So many happy about that. I honestly thought it was just gonna be the outside. So I was like, oh, I'm like happy that there's like a lot more options. Okay guys, um, sorry for the shitty lighting again. I swear I can never like, the sun is fucking it up. But like literally like a couple days later, I'm like the worst at vlogging. But um, I'm at the gym right now. I literally drifted over here. Uh, today's kind of, today's gonna be like a hectic busy day. Like I'm kind of like rushing it. So I'm gonna go to the gym and then I wanted to like cut my hair and like trim it up and just, Cause I want it like more bouncy, you know? Like I'm still stuck on my short hair, like, I don't know. Like, you know how I was indecisive about like doing long hair, short hair, like, I'm still like, I'm still siding with my short hair. So after this, I'm gonna like rush over there to pretty much cut my hair and like, pretty much make it a little bit darker because I feel like the red is like coming out again and I don't like that. And, uh, my daughter's birthday party is today. So I need to go to um, the store and like get some stuff I need to pick up. I feel like I haven't vlogged like a gym, like a gym, like, you know, session a while, but what the fuck? Okay, perfect. Okay, he's busy. I was like rushing in here, but he's like doing something. Okay, so we have time to chit chat. So like, I feel like I've been working out pretty frequently. Like I've been doing a really good job. Like I remember when I first started working out, it was hard for me just to even get up and like put my shoes on and like get ready. I used to be like, oh, I just want to go like to bed and just rest you know so now I feel like I've I go I go pretty frequently now where I feel like it's like a part of it's like brushing my teeth now it's just like a part of my day and so I like that like I feel like if I don't work out I feel like really weird and like just like super sluggish but I used to like last year I wanted more like of a slim thick look like kind of more of like a thicker look if you know what I mean but I feel like since I've been doing like the acting classes like when I would see myself on camera um I just couldn't take my eyes off my ass or like my body and I didn't like that so I want so now I'm like going for like a more like lean slimmer skinny look um I just think it just looks more like classy in some dresses and I don't know I just like it so that's pretty much what my goal is so I've been like I said before I've been eating like more like I feel like I eat like more seafood now. Um, definitely been eating a lot more cleaner. I don't eat out at like, um, I used to be like a fast food person, like if it, even if it was like Wendy's or like Cane's or like something quick like that. But now like I don't, I notice like I cut that off completely without really realizing it. And when I go there, like I feel like really weird and like bad, but I don't know. I just feel gross when I go to a fast food spot because I don't know, but that's a good thing. But yeah, I noticed my stomach and my body just getting a lot more slimmer. I'm definitely happy. I used to be like when I was like slim thick, I was like one I was like 133. Now that I um I'm in my lean journey and like trying to be more slimmer, I'm at 125 right now and my height is like 54. So that's pretty good. So I'm really happy with that and Valentine's Day is coming up and I'm trying to look like fucking extra snatched because I'm, I'm gonna do a photo shoot, so I wanna look like, I wanna look like really good, you know? So, that's pretty much my goal when it comes to working out, is I wanna just really like, snatch the stomach area and just make it look like, just tone it up and just, I could see like it forming already on top, so I feel like it just needs to like, you know, work its way down to like the bottom area of my stomach, but overall I'm like really happy with like, um, my body right now like I like how it looks um, I just wanted a little bit more snatched on the waist which I, that's always been my trouble is like my waist area you know what I mean so I've been wearing my faja like <laughs> even though like the faja I got for um, my surgery I still wear it like say when I'm cleaning and stuff like that like when I'm cleaning around the house or like when I'm just at home like I wear my faja for like fucking hours because I feel like doing that does like snatch me up like I notice a huge difference so yeah all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and get in there <laughs> Okay guys, so I left my workout. I literally like drifted over here for my hair appointment. Um, 
everything. Yeah, my workout was pretty good. I felt like it was intense. Um, maybe, probably because I haven't been to the gym in like it's probably been like a week. And this morning I had like a really light breakfast. I like hold on, hold on. I literally ate like an avocado toast and left. And that's why like I felt like at the gym like. Today was a good workout. I like when they're intense like that because, you know, I like a challenge. But I felt like, have you ever worked out and then you feel like you're about to vomit, like you feel nauseous? That's how I felt. So I was like shaking after my workout. I haven't felt like that in a long time. Um, but I feel good. Honestly, like it's weird because like I'm those type of people that can never live in like Seattle because I don't know, when the sun's out here in Arizona, like I feel really motivated. I feel hungry. I feel like I was feeling a little bit not motivated, um, you know, this past month, <laughs> but I feel like better out here in Arizona. I don't know. I'm just that type of person when it's like, when it's like, um, when it's like cloudy or like cold and like winter, like I feel like I hibernate. Anyways, guys, so let's go ahead and like change up. I'm really excited for this new, it's not a new hairdo. I decided I'm not going to do a chocolate brown. I'm going to do a light brown. Okay. Guys, I'm at the birthday party right now. I literally was like drifting. I've been drifting all day, but I didn't show you how my hair turned out. But this is, I'm gonna show you a little bit. This is a little bit of how it looks. Like, the lighting's like crazy right now. I mean, this is the birthday girl, yeah. Leah, and um, where's that mask? So, it's like a little, this place is called Russian Fun Park. It's like a little yeah. indoor playground, like trampoline and games. So I'll show you guys a little bit. Yes. I was thinking of jumping right now. Um, I kind of want to jump. I'm going to eat some pizza. showed you guys the final results but this is pretty much I don't know like what he did with the front I'm kind of like upset about that I kind of there's like a streak in the front I don't know if you guys can see it but it's like this like to me it kind of looks gray and I don't like that but I'm gonna go to Sally's later and like just just dye literally these two pieces other than that I like the color in the back it's like a I think it's like a light pretty brown so that's why I don't know why he did this um, I was expecting more like of a caramel highlight in the front but to me it just looks like gray I'm about to do a bunch of photo shoot right now like a couple's photo shoot so I'm really excited because I haven't done that I haven't done a photo shoot with literally nobody I've never done that before so I'm kind of nervous but I'm excited I think it's gonna be like sexy passionate and like I think it'll be fun okay so this is where we're gonna be shooting at. Say hi. Hey. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm excited. I'm actually, a little, I'm, I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I'm a little nervous, guys. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm nervous, but I hope they come out good. I'm sure they will. I really like the vibe of the, this like whole setting. I think it's very, um, it's definitely a mood. I like it. This is my outfit. I'm wearing like red. I thought it'd be it's like that's like sexy but still like passionate and like yeah I think it's gonna be like really fun 
this is the next outfit I'll be wearing it's like a lingerie since we're doing like the sexy like I don't know like a passionate look um, but check out my Instagram so you guys can get like a little bit more idea of what we're like the vibe we went for it's super classy really cute I promise but yeah I really like it I think it's really cute Hey guys, so we just got done with the photo shoot. Um, I feel like it went pretty well. Here. <laughs> I'm about to roll one up right now. But um, at first I was a little nervous, but I think like once I was in there, I got a little bit more comfortable. Um, yeah, I, uh, I never done a photo shoot like that before. So I definitely feel like it was very like candid, like in the moment. And I just, the vibes were really good. So I'm really excited to see how they turned out. Especially because like lately I've been liking a lot of like black and white shots. I just think they're very like I just something about them I just like and yeah. How do you how do you feel? I feel really good. I've never done something like that as well. So. No? No. It's interesting. <laughs> what do you need? Right. Oh my god, but I forgot to but anyways if you guys um don't follow me on Instagram, go check me out. I'm the only one. But yeah, I did my nails here before the shoot. Thank you. I'm like lately I've been like feeling like a very like elegant short nails you guys know me I've been like going back and forth with like long nails short nails and I feel like I'm I'm like good on my short nails now I feel like well to me this is short I don't know if this is short to you guys but compared to what I used to do but yeah I think they're really cute nice red yeah these are the little buns. Wow, oh, no. these are big buns. These are sweet. <laughs> these are sweet. And this one has some stuff in it, and this one has. In the middle? Yeah. <laughs> On these. Two. This is what it looks like. I ate. Th I would. The other ones we got were. Um, uh, shumai. They were so good, but um, like dumplings. We already ate them. <laughs> I want to try this one. This one looks really good. This is chicken. Yeah. What it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see. <laughs> the bread is good. Want some? Yeah, okay. Wait, let me get one of the chicken. I'm gonna try to get one of the chicken. Mm. But, um,. Let's try this one. I never, I never uh, had. That's something. sweet. That's more like a dessert, but it's, it's really good. Nice. You never had anything like this before. It's, it's called the uh, oh, what's sesame, in there? sesame ball. It's like um, There's like dark stuff in there. <laughs> try it. It's good. It's more like. It's an interesting flavor. It's like a dessert. We're gonna go do 80s dancing tonight. <laughs> I'm excited. I haven't like gone out and like let my hair down, like dance in a while, so I've definitely been in the mood. Is there pork in this one? No, it's not true. Is this a weenie? I'm gonna eat there. It looks nice. We're on our way to our picnic. We're at Dockweiler Beach. And it's looking good. I feel like there's not a lot of people here, so that's good. It means that we'll like have our last time. Okay, so it's Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's, guys. Um, I'm at Dogweiler Beach right now. We decided to do like, I want to do something like very intimate and like, you know, I don't want to be with at restaurants with like lots of people. So I thought like the beach and being near water and like having a bonfire and like, like drinks, a good joy and, you know, some quality time. I think that's like, um, I don't know. I think that would be like really special. I really like that idea. And I know it's the beach. So I was, I know you guys are probably wondering like, why are you wearing that? But I, you know, it doesn't matter. Like I'm gonna, I want to wear a dress and get my pictures in, and it's a nice long 
formal cute dress, so I love it. This is what we got going on so far. Super chilly. Alejandro got a little canopy. <laughs> so I'm like, there's a little window and everything. It's super cute. <laughs> I like try to set up the vibes. I put the roses there. This is like me helping. And these candles, like they're not they're not real guys. Alejandro got them. They're like with fake candles are such a good idea it, like mix the ambiance one of them went out but it's okay the leaf here to roll up in a bit super excited for that we got some snacks it's some sushi Is it sushi? Yeah. so they like covered up with so many so many things so much for my red dress <laughs> my camera's about to die too it was like so windy out there. I was like, we should just like. It was really cute though. It was really romantic. Right now I'm rolling up some weed. For like on the road. This I'm smoking. This is what's called the Guava X Reds. <clears throat> so pretty much we're gonna like take the party back to his place and like continue and have a movie night or like you know, have our little picnic over there. But yeah. I want to get some pictures still in my outfit. I didn't get pictures because it was like really cold, but I don't know where. It's like freezing out, out there. I really just want to get into some comfy clothes. But anyways, guys, I'll, I'll chit chat with you guys tomorrow. Yeah, I'll chit chat with you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and call it a night for the filming today. Bye. This is Alejandro's little shake. He makes these every morning. <laughs> All right, banana, mango. Uh, there's this apple called Envy Apple. It's one of my, I don't know, I'm not an apple guy, but I love that apple. Uh, and celery? Celery, almond milk. I don't have any greens. Usually I throw greens, but I ran out. Throw a little bit of ginger, actually. Ginger. This I've been taking for a very long time. It's called Perfect Food. It's just a super green formula. It has like algae, all the greens. Um, a scoop. Protein powder. It's like a vegan one. I'm not vegan, but it's the Warrior, warrior, warrior Sun. Oh. Looks good. Um, do you think I should add blueberries? Yeah. A little bit of blueberries. You don't ever put like peanut butter? Is that mm. weird? Peanut butter. Mm. No? Is that my protein? <laughs> We're about to go hiking. Oh, hold on, say that again. Crazy. I just woke up. Putting these chocolate covered strawberries that I made for you. Alejandro made chocolate covered strawberries. <laughs> Is that enough milk though, babe? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Oh, it's all liquefies. Like which one I taste more of. Maybe it's love. Blueberry, so it's really good. You guys like have problem like growing your hair or like you just bleach your hair and it's like having a hard time growing out. These work really good. They're called um Shu Wu. Ho Shu Wu. Ho Shu Wu. This is what it looks like. I don't know if it's focusing, but it kind of does. But I'll put it in the description either way. But you're supposed to take like five, and you got them at the Chi what is it, the Chinese store? Or the Ch what is it? Chinatown. Chinatown? Chinese herb. So like five of them. And I swear, like, I feel like I tried things with my hair, and this, like, I've seen a huge difference in like a short amount of time, so like, I recommend these. You guys are asking me this in my live last time, so I wanted to like help you guys out as well. Okay, so we got a little smoothie going, it was really good. And now a joint for some nice balance. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we're gonna go hiking after this. I feel like I haven't gone hiking forever, especially in California. 
A hiking place I used to go to a lot was um, the Culver City Stairs. I feel like it's a good workout and it seems like nice weather. So I really want to go check that spot out today. So most likely I think that's what we're going to do right now. So it's like a good little like healthy little morning before we go on our hike. So I think it's going to be nice. Okay, this is what the Culver City... <laughs> This is what the Culver City Stairs is for those who haven't been. Um, it looks really green. Looks nice. Culver City Stairs. I, mean, I already told you down there, but we're about to start with the stairs. I feel like I'm already kind of breathing hard a little bit, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like before we get up there because I feel like hopefully I make it up there. So it's three. There? Did it beep? Yeah. Okay guys, so we made it to the top of the stairs. <laughs> I'm like really proud of myself. I was like really struggling. I was like breathing really hard. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me though. Like I go to the gym and everything. It's just like, like going up these stairs was like such a hassle. It was like, it was pretty difficult. But Alejandro definitely pushed me along the way. <laughs> it was like pretty simple and easy for him. I carried you pretty much. <laughs> it's really pretty. We're gonna like walk it down instead of like going down the stairs. Something about like going down the stairs like freaks me out. So, and I don't know, I'm really tired. So, probably just gonna like walk the rest of the way down. <laughs> Currently at a plant store. It's called Rolling Rolling Greens, man. Rolling Greens. It's so pretty. They have a lot of nice little plants here. I didn't know that there's what this was next door to the Culver City stairs. It's like on the walk down. But yeah, it's a lot of cute stuff. Terracotta. The color? Yeah. There's more terracotta over here. <laughs> you get like a house of pop. But like a nice, many flowers would match it. Mm. Or like plant, like a nice green plant. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, this is nice. Thank you so much for watching.